i i think i think as an actor you don't uh, uh, you know you don't perform for short film differently and for theater differently or for a film differently maybe for the director and the writers they must be thinking differently because they have to you know say everything in 15 minutes and you know, the director has to uh, do the screenplay and his direction but as an actor we just uh, perform the way we perform in any other thing. as an actor i am and i genuinely believe that uh no matter how heartbreaking it is uh the most beautiful love stories are the unrequited ones uh so this is another one it stays with you far longer you know it leaves a, a, a probably a little bit of hope and it and as heartwarming as the film is it's heartbreaking Hi guys this is Ankita you're tuned into peepingmoon.com and today we have with us to tell their ajeeb dastaan but in not an unkahi mood the team Shefali Shah Manav Kaul and Kayoze Rani who has requested me I'll be only calling him Kayo from now on <laughs> Hi guys Hi 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 Hi, hi Ankita Uh this is for all three of you uh luckily I could watch unkahi and the first impression which stayed with me was normally in whatever we say for love stories we have the kind of lines and the dialogues and the poetic declarations this is just silent love it was i i i couldn't find any fault in this this was one of the most beautiful ways to say it without saying much about it kai how did you come up with the idea and how did manav and shafali came on board and so the the i had we i just the film started with the idea of a thought there was a thought which was that you don't need words to communicate and people who people who can communicate through words many times don't and people who don't have that that liberty of the spoken language sometimes don't need it and they can still communicate so brilliantly so uh, i just love that idea i had i had the first scene in my head and i had the last scene in my head and that's all i had and i approached uh, two writers very talented writers called sumit saxena and uma khan who penned down the screenplay and that was kind of the the journey of one kahi um uh, shefali shah was someone that i have been dying to work with in any form i would have worked even if i was an assistant on a project i would have been excited to work with her and i truly love her so i went to her and i gave a brief i think seven or eight minute narration and she said yes immediately i was in shock and uh, before she could say anything else i quickly ran out of there <laughs> and uh, manav has just been manav has just been like a like this this untapped reservoir of talent and um it makes my life so easy to have actors like this on on the film and i genuinely i mean it when i say this i had nothing to do i i i sat back i enjoyed i the catering was good the scenes were good i what more can i ask for he's talking rubbish <laughs> i cannot I mean, you, got on, you got me on court catering okay yeah, <laughs> yeah i think that that's about it chafali mana what prompted you to uh, sign ankahi in the first place uh one that it was ankahi uh everything and so much is unsaid and i'm a hardcore romantic and if i could i i mean not if i could i i have a love story constantly going on in my head so this was another kind of a love story and there was no way in hell i would have said no it's just it was too beautiful even uh, even after kayo ran away it, it just stayed with me <laughs> it was just yeah it's absolutely same uh, similar uh, experience i had when kayo narrated this uh, this this uh, entire story 7 8 minutes i said yes it's beautiful it's very very uh, uh, very tender very beautifully you know the, 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 some love stories are so so tender and so lovely that you want to be part of this so I'm, i was lucky that uh, he thought of me uh Shafali and Manav, this one is for you. Uh, normally, uh, uh, when we say uh, anthologies or per se short stories, you both have done. 
a few, of course. What is the difference uh, when you do a feature film or a short story? Do you uh, need to uh, tap everything in a very small frame of time? Or it's also, I would say, not easy or difficult, but in a way liberating to tell a story in as less time as it could be. I, I think I think as an actor, you don't, uh, uh, you know, you don't perform for short film differently and for theater differently or for a film differently, maybe for the director and the writers, they must be thinking differently because they have to, you know, say everything in 15 minutes and you know, the director has to uh, do the screenplay and his direction. But as an actor, we just uh, perform the way we perform in any other thing. Well, as an actor, I am. Yeah, uh, I asked you because you establish your character like yours and Jafari's mom character within first scene. I was oh, I'm like they said enough in first scene to glue you to your screens and okay, what next? The movie uh, that was. In the taxi. Uh, I have to give that credit to Kyle. I really do have to give that credit to Kyle. I mean, uh, that first scene, I, and this is something I want to say. Actually, remind me to say it in all my interviews that do not check your volume of the TV or the phone or wherever you're watching it when the film begins. Okay. It's intentionally what it is. So the first scene where it establishes that relationship, it establishes what the film is, is completely kind. According to me. Kayu, uh, 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 did the thought cross your mind also that you have a limited time to tell a story which we have already established as fewer words and it's I, all about the eyes talking? I love, I love a short film. I love a short film. You know why? Because a short film has no tropes. It has no formula and it has no um, way of doing it or commercial uh, there's a commercial thing to it that you need this and need that. I love it. I love watching it. I love being part of it. I've been a part of many short films, even as an assistant. Um, I, what I, my favorite part of a short film is that your first scene, uh, not only do you have to establish characters, you have to establish conflict. And, uh, and your film has to just go. Uh, other than that, when you're on set, I don't think it's any different than a feature film. Um, uh, I think that's the same for actors as well as directors. It's for writers, it's slightly different that you have to always be on it. And the, the, a short film gives you no room for error, which is what I love. And what I love about the OTT world now is that it's content driven. Uh, the audience has the right to turn it off if they don't like it. So your content has to be very, very, very strong. And it, it pushes us. It's like a great opponent who pushes another opponent to do always do better. Uh in the anthology, I might be wrong, but the underlining theme somehow comes to be not a happy ending. I, I might be wrong here. This, I I so long that Shefali wouldn't have shut that door. I just so longed at that moment. I really wish that, I hadn't. I I mean, I don't want to say everything out here, but uh, how was it, Shefali? Why I ask you is, you took me by surprise. The moment I started the film, I was, oh, they both cannot communicate. They are mute and deaf. And as I said, by the time the first scene gets over, I'm like, okay, this is this is completely different. Uh, how was it with you? And then Mana with you, I have to tell you, you look lovely on screen. I am not taking that away. And Shafali, I'm bookmarking all your new co-like looks and all the silver bangles. They are done. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't understand the question. I, I was like, uh, <laughs> so sorry. I think I mixed my compliment with my question. No, 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 uh, continue, continue. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I'm like, the uh, anthology, in my understanding, had this underlying theme of not a happy ending. Uh, what do you have to say about it? In all the stories, of course, not, but in, especially yours, I wish the door hadn't been shut. Uh, I wish the door hadn't been shut, or she would have stepped out and shut that door. But... Uh, uh, I ha I'll be honest, I haven't seen the other films. And as far as our film is concerned, I genuinely believe that uh, no matter how heartbreaking it is, uh, the most beautiful love stories are the unrequited ones. Uh, so this is another one. It stays with you far longer. You know, it leaves a, a, a probably a little bit of hope. And, it, and as heartwarming as the film is, it's heartbreaking. And if they had been together, it wouldn't, I feel this leaves a 
far stronger impact. I genuinely feel it. And I remember uh, when I was shooting the last scene and I was a mess. I was really j- just a mess. And I couldn't stop crying in between scenes just with the thought that he's just around the corner and she'll never see him again. It just, br- I'm still getting goosebumps when I say this. It just broke my heart. And it was like I had lost a chance to love, you know, just a chance to that beautiful experience by letting the man go. Manav, your take on this. I think that's why we love Chef Ali so much. She is, uh, she is full heart. Like every time, whatever, like the, the kind of scenes she, she was doing and you're just watching her in front of you and you go like, my God, I mean, this is, this is real. This is so real and this is, this is magical. And luckily, thank God, like, uh, because of Kyle and everything, uh, they, but they, the way they have planned, uh, we did the last scene, the last day, you know, uh, and uh, we kind of did everything slowly, slowly till we reach the last scene. And uh, I remember after finishing that last scene, I couldn't stay there on the set. I thought I have to leave. I have to go. I have to go home. I have to. I have to go home. I have to do something else because it was too much in my head, and uh, and I was missing everything at the same time. I want to leave. Uh, it was. It was quite crazy. Uh, I never experienced something like this because Kayo was telling me that you know, oh, you can you can hang because we are going to, going to do another scenes. If you want to, I said, I can't, I can't just see this house, this door. I mean, I just want to leave. So, and otherwise, he never left the set. Yeah. I'm always, never. He was always there. Whoever seen whatever, he would be there. I mean, you know, there are, there are some stories, some scenes, some characters, you know, you, you feel so vulnerable. And I thought that I don't, I don't, I don't want Kai or anyone else to see me right now. I'm, I'm just, I'm just not good right now. So I just, I just ran home. <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll tell you something. Uh, that was the last day of shoot. That was their last scene together. Um, uh, it was there was just like one. It was the, the, just the beginning of the film. We had to shoot a little bit with some with uh, without Manav. Whatever uh, uh, Shefali, ma'am, and Manav just said is absolutely true, because she came on set that day, and I swear I thought there was something wrong. I thought that there's some issue happening at home. I spoke to Manav. I spoke to her team. Uh, you know, I was like, is there something wrong? And said, no, everything's fine and all this, that. And she was genuinely feeling those emotions. And I, I and when she stood at that door and when she closed that door, I, I, you, my heart broke. I think her heart broke because, you know, your heart goes out to Manav, but with Kabir, but trust me, for me, my heart also goes with her because she made the decision that she hates. Uh, that that's even more difficult. And uh, my heart broke for the fact because the daughter was the one to convey it to her. I'm like, oh, how that could was you? Love. Yeah, that was so and, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, and and I think in the in the morning earlier, you know, the ta- the taxi came and all we were like we were laughing, joking a little bit, and then when that scene got over, everyone was so into it. People had cried on set. I had cried on set, and then Manav just left because he said, I, "This is the, I have to." end the story at like this and uh oof, it was a it was that was a difficult uh a day but you know you, a day you come out with with so much in uh joy of, of why you chose to do this profession um the the only other thing i'll say is that yes when she she says that when she closed the door uh she didn't want to but when she was standing at the door and i went to her and i gave her something i said well, can we try it this way she did the same thing she just slammed the door on my face and and continued <laughs> no and i remember when i was when i go down i sit down uh sid adop he went down and i was just sitting there and sobbing after cut and everyone was on the floor i remember this distinctly everyone from Eka to my team to the whole, everyone was sitting on the floor, just sitting. And I just remember Kayo coming and sitting next to me quietly. We're both sitting and I was just trying to get a grip on myself. And what he talks about the lunch where he spoke to uh, my team, they all had a almost a conference because everybody thought 
who has upset her today because i'm otherwise fun on set i was in a pathetic mood that day i was just in a bad mood that that day when i walked on to set i was in a very bad mood so everyone was like everyone asked pallavi uh, you know that did we do something that uh, that is ticked her off <laughs> what has happened to her but yeah it it really took a lot out and just thinking I of that day say. is just heartbreaking even when the end credit till the time the end credits didn't roll i was hoping there might be one more scene like <laughs> one more maybe <laughs> something something is left <laughs> I, i'll tell you you broke my heart also <laughs> like i am going to say this to you i what was waiting for that one more scene there really part but, but before but <laughs> oh yes part oh yes no there's no part two <laughs> their story is over <laughs> I think one of one of the characters got covid also this was a meet and then there was a lockdown and I, before i wrap this kayo you please have to tell me because then i'm going to take the last answer from chapali and manav yeah. how did you manage to make them look this glamorous i swear to god it was exactly a moment of dharma film I couldn't recognize for ten seconds Chef Ali and Mana in that frame. It took me ten seconds. Please, I really need to know the secret. Uh, What was it? They all, were like, wow. All all credit goes to the team that put it together. That is Eka and Pallavi and Sandhya and um, Ma. Ma. The only thing I said was for Mana, I I wear round glasses. Mana, I want you to wear round glasses. That's all I said. <laughs> okay. And I never thought, Mana, you could look. How mean is that? <laughs> no, no, but Ma- Mana does look uh, very handsome in the film. I told him. I, I just, was, yeah. You know the amount of girls on the set that were crushing on Mana were like. Chafali, I have to give it to you also. You look sexy. So I can use the word on the camera. You look lovely. I'm like, Thank why you. was not this before? <laughs> I have to give it to you too. Thank <laughs> you. That is looking couples in the entire anthology. I'll give it. I'll tell you. I think Chefali always looks sexy. She has been a major childhood crush of mine. Okay, major childhood crush of mine. I cannot tell you. I was like, whoa. Like, I swear. I, and I'll tell you one thing about Manav. Manav, I Manav, you don't mind me saying. I think you looked your best in Ankhi. Okay. Yeah. And so much so that the people on set were having a huge crush on Kabir and Manav, and that's why I cut all the scenes. <laughs> the, the 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 climax was she closes the door, goes and hugs him, and they walk away. And I said, Yeah, it was actually three hours long. The picture. Yeah, Then we cut I all her all the scenes. No, you <laughs> have taken away my my jokes <laughs> out. <laughs> you are not even getting that at all. Bye. Marav, you have to give me the parting words on this. Both Shivali and Kaya have said something. I have to hear it from you. What is this? this what is this look? Suddenly, you want to unleash on us. What was this happening? Even you know, the, when I was uh, dubbing the film, my manager um, uh, was with me, and he said, "Oh God, you look the best. This is the like whatever you have done till now. This is the best." And I said, "Seriously?" I said, "It's because of Kaya." I mean, he. In my head, my character was very different. Like I was like wearing these jeans, chappal, and this. Kaya said, "No, please, no, nothing." You have to look. Up here, pay no. Up here, pay no. Is up. Here, pay. You have to look good. And uh, thank God. I mean, it's all said. Kaya, Eka, the entire team, entire team. I was Eka, like, I give all that credit to Eka. Yeah, really. Yeah, she was Eka is the costume stylist on our film. Just, she is just brilliant. I just look But, as big I, as full Lokhanwala market. I'm just saying, <laughs> full Lokhanwala market put together. He just called you sexy. Now, I, uh, I, listen, Shafali, I am not taking my words back. I, I am not taking my words back. You look lovely. And in fact, I can finally say this on record: Shafali and Manav look like dharma leader, lead actors. <laughs> like it was like walking out of a dharma glossy. I don't know if Karan Johar is hearing this. You couldn't manage to revamp like two looks, which I was dying to see. Thank you, I loved it. Thank you, Kayo. Thank you, Eka. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Palu. Thank you, Sid. Thank you, guys. 
thank you guys for doing this probably one of the best interviews i've done this year you made me laugh so much i think people will love anke as much as i did and i know they can't be a part two but kayo please don't make any more heartbreaking stories at least with these two too much ho jayega if, if the if the if the hero looks good then they'll be heartbreaking <laughs> if, if, if i get the attention on set i promise it will be a happy ending there's no <laughs> <laughs> and he and after that scene he didn't want to leave i told him chalo 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 now it's my time to get attention kakai <laughs> <laughs> is the leading star in the next anthology i know now this is this is close okay Yeah, so it's time to say bye. I think I'm running out of time. Thank you so much, guys, for doing this. Thank you, and wishing Thank you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ankita. Thank you, Ankita. Bye. Bye.